The younger cricket uh, fan who's perhaps who enjoys cavalier batting a lot more would ask uh, DK explain to me why would you come down the track to a spinner and defend It's very simple I think for batsmen like Pujara and Shubman Gill stepping out comes very naturally to them so the moment the ball is released and it goes above their eye line they tend to step out that's the way they bat but the problem in this match has been the fact that the wicket has turned at times in certain spots and it hasn't so you always tend to play for the one that turns and comes in and the ones uh, and that's what caused the downfall of a shubman gill playing inside the line looking for the turn whereas with pujara he stepped out ball was slightly further away from him didn't have control and you know touch unlucky but he has gotten out like that when stepping out at times and it does happen but if you don't step out and you don't play the sweep then you're literally left with the bowler bowling either very full or very short for you to hit a boundary and if waiting for that could basically mean that you have to put away a, i mean you have to defend through a lot of good balls and that can be hard on this wicket so you have to show intent within your batting and today i think that's where india obviously maybe lost a trick because there isn't any pressure on the bowlers you could hear the commentators speak about it as well but the the the, the major problem for india is the fact that they want to trust their sweep shot and this wicket probably in the first innings couple of the senior players got out playing the sweep shot so they're telling themselves maybe sweep isn't a great option because it is keeping low so then the only other option is stepping out and using their feet and and that has led to the downfall of two dismissals today so if it, if it is keeping low why, why then send aksar patel in at four he'd already bowled 16 overs on the on the trot i think he bowled 19.2 overs uh, when when bangladesh were batting aksar patel at four wouldn't you want your best batsman or the best batsman on the planet virat kohli to come in where he usually does at four no what well, surprise how- were you I wasn't too surprised with this move because we have to understand what is the toughest phase of play with the new ball hard new ball there is something for the spinners there because the ball tends to hit the seam and turn or if it hits the leather it just goes straight on and it could be hard work playing left arm spin and being and knowing the fact that we don't have too many shots which can be very attacking in nature so sending an aksar patel left right trying to make use of the conditions at the moment and that's aksar patel would have probably liked to have played more positively but the fact is that when he was batting today wickets fell around him so that didn't allow him to take those big risks which were required so it is justifiable to a point i mean when you look at it and say you know we have the best batsman and virat kohli why not send him but the other way to look at it is if you send a left hander there and he gets you a few runs and if he does play some attacking shots it eases the pressure for the next batsman coming in so it is understandable and interestingly he's been the highest scorer and by a distance as well you know so far in this inning and he's not been troubled too much so the key for us would be right now to prolong this partnership you know the more we bat the more uh, irritated they are going to get before they give in but we have pant and shreyas to follow who are obviously much better players of spin and who can take on the bowling so it'll be very interesting to see how india plays this tomorrow it's that time of the year when cricket fans and cricket analysts and experts such as yourselves look back at the year and and you say all right hits and misses uh and that worked and did, that didn't work but the one number that will perhaps needle or trouble uh virat kohli fans is his average in the year 2022 safe to say that the worst is past him a uh, test average of 26 uh, point something which is i think is his third lowest safe to say that the worst is past him and the next year is going to you know see a different virat kohli who's going to bat like a bomb like like we know him yeah i think it's been a tough year for virat in test cricket uh you know we, he obviously had a tough time in the t20s and the ipl but he obviously showed his form and class in the world cup but we can understand that it's been a tough year for him and he's got a great series in australia to show his class and stamp his class but what's going to be interesting is if india wants to force victories they are going to in many ways try and play to their strength which is to aid spin which would mean playing a lot on turning tracks and that is something india would be very very uh realistic about for us to win test matches and how is how is the batting going to counter that is going to be very very interesting bangladesh will look back uh, at uh, that last passage of play and say listen hang on yes we've never beaten india but if our bowlers can do what they have keep it tight keep their body language right keep asking questions then it is possible to trouble india i mean to be fair uh, india has been vulnerable throughout the year and uh, that is a fact uh, in uh, in at least the ODIs and test cricket i think it's not been a great year for indian cricket uh, let's be honest so most teams playing against india right now fancy a chance and that's the honest truth and uh, you know bangladesh beat them in the ODI series and uh, looks well in control of this game uh, if they can get another couple of wickets within the next 20 runs 
then it's going to be a huge uphill task. And I think Bangladesh coming into the test match uh, made all the right moves. Uh, you know, they stuck to their uh, three spin attack, which is something that India would have missed, I feel, because we played three medium paces, hoping there'll be a little more assistance for the bowlers. But it looks like it was a, it is a wicket which is aiding a lot more spin than pace. Mm-hmm.